unless it's a relay, I always speak to them individually and um, I give them very little thought volume going into a race. My whole preparation is geared on automaticity, so it's all structured with neuromuscular conditioning throughout the season and then offloading information coming into the major meet. So basically, I'll say something like, good luck, enjoy it. Uh, when, you know, 20 years down the track when you've got toddlers pulling on your skirt, you look back at these days and uh, you realise just how lucky you are. Uh, well, for Kate, this is her third time around, so um, you know, she's, she's a bit of an old hand at this. For her first Olympics, I very much told her that the uh, Olympics was going to be like a circus and you know, not to be distracted by all the goings on around it. Basically, at the end of the day, for her, it was just about a swimming race. The pool was still going to be 50 metres long and she just had to do what she was trained to do every day. Kate just has to try and be as cool as a cucumber, which is a big ask when you're walking out for an Olympic final. And everyone does suffer from some nerves, but um, just try and bottle the butterflies and then when the gun goes, release them. Basically, Kate has to swim her own race and just drop the curtains down, let her own pace uh, dictate how she swims, not the pace of others. Bronte's got uh, quite an old head on her young shoulders, so um, this is her second time around. Um, so once again, you know, she's used to the games and uh, knew full well coming in what to expect. She's generally slightly behind off the start compared to some of the better starters in the world. But Bronte has one of the best uh, on top of the water speeds in the world, so she knows how to reel them in. Mm -hmm.